Brothers and sisters, I am Blue Phoenix with Negative Light, and we're here just to talk about the things we saw from these updates and our ideas of what might be coming. Yes, so the interesting thing, number one, we do have a primary theory of what this update might be might be called. There are two different things that this update could be called. Number one is the Dungeons and Dragons update. You'll have to stay tuned to our channels and to Black Moonlight, um, a fellow channel of ours, um, where we talk about this more in depth with some of our other friends that you don't usually see in our videos. Um, but there are some other things that we've thought this could be called or that it might involve. Uh, the first one that I thought of was Redstone. All three of these mobs currently have a very strong redstone use case, less so to the gloom, but especially the Olay and the Copper Golem. And historically speaking, the mob votes tend to coincide with, like, the theme of the mob vote tends to coordinate to the theme of the main, of, or a component of the main update. And the other theory is uh, that... I believe, Blue, you have that one. Yes. The other theory is this is very different from other boat creatures. The other boat creatures are usually hostile or it's just neutral in the middle. Also, auto is the closest thing to a friendly help, but you have to scoop it up and you dump it and it doesn't. Uh, Axolotl wasn't even a boating mob. No, it wasn't. Never mind. I'm a, I don't know why I said it was. But the boating mobs, they weren't really... Helpful, but this one is a true companion that helps you no matter what in different fields to do what you want to do. So it's yes. very help oriented and it seems like that might affect the update. They might be adding more things to help us. Yeah. And the other thing that they might be adding is new structures. So a big thing that we were talking about and the reason why we thought of the Dungeons and Dragons update or Born Legends in the case that they can't secure the copyright is that they were in a dungeon. They actually made a comment about this build you see to the left hand or to the right hand side of the video. Um, builds in this update could be fairly important. Um, Again, all three of these mobs would greatly help builders as well as your adventurers. Yes, and talking about adventurers, they really help the adventure and then also they hinted at structures and using the iron golem maybe to help you get through some of them. And the guy who finds the darkness might help you find the structures as well through the darkness. And the guy who's helping you pick up all the loot. So it's definitely a adventure oriented as well. Yes. And the other and last thing is something very interesting that we found in the first video, which we're going to go to right now. This clip right Ooh. here. On October 16th, they get to vote. That falling through with the grass. Yes, it could be that they're kind of doing two-dimensional stuff and three-dimensional stuff at the same time, but we theorize that they might be adding some form of trapped grass, or grass that is designed to be, like, floating or something. And this for is... Stick traps. Also, this is why. One thing, if you look at the thing underneath, is water. So it might be a plant with water because she fell through water. And then actually, she pushed the grass and fell through. With yes. Yeah, and that would greatly add to the trappability of Minecraft, which they've been kind of intentionally doing recently. With the snow actually. block. Snow block, the leaf, uh, the drop leaf. Yep. It'll be very interesting to see what 1.20 is, but can't wait to see y'all Saturday. But without further ado, this is Negative Light. Also, one more thing before you say outro. Please comment below any of your fears. Yes, make sure to do that. <laughs> I don't forget how to do outros. <laughs> yes. Um, so make sure to comment below, leave a like, and make sure to subscribe to our channels. I'll be live streaming, actually, during Minecraft Live and reacting to it And live. I'll be joining next.
Naked yes, Naked he'll be there. He won't be live on his channel, but leave a subscribe because he might have other things that happen because after that. I don't know how to live stream, but I will have some videos later talking about it more. Yeah. Yep. But without further ado, this is Day of Light, signing out, and God bless y'all. Bye.